What's up guys? <clears throat> Here today to demonstrate how to apply the uh, polyurethane um, from Bayer. And this is the satin finish. And uh, we're just gonna be using a regular nap roller. It's a three quarter inch, I think an inch roller. Um, got this at uh, was it Ace Hardware, pretty cheap. It'll do the job and uh, won't leave any roller marks. This stuff dries really fast. Um, especially in the right conditions, put a fan on it, it's going to dry within five minutes, maybe less. And uh, it says the reco time is one hour, but honestly, you could do it much faster than that. I mean, if it's dry, I would let it dry for roughly 15 minutes, keep a fan on it the whole time, and uh, you could literally sand this stuff down, you know, with 220 or just a little sanding block, you know, medium fine or fine, and uh, just give it a light sanding. And I've already sanded this, dusted it off, so it's pretty much ready to go. So I'm just going to dip this in here. It's kind of the, the lazy way because I don't want to get a, a paint tray. So I'm just going to roll that on, spread it out. And you can go in the direction of the grain if you want. It's not really necessary, um, but I like to anyways. And again, it's not going to leave any roller marks. It levels out real nice. And I'll show you the, uh, the finished coat here. So that's one coat, or that's two coats rather. I put one coat on earlier. Um, and so in between coats, you want to definitely, like I said, sand it down just very lightly. Just enough to kind of get the, uh, the rough, you know, rough coat off. Uh, because that first coat is going to soak in. And it's just basically going to act as your sealer coat on the, the wood itself, that, that first base coat. And then the second coat, or before that second coat goes on, again, you want to sand it down just real lightly, dust it off. Um, I usually just use one of these roller, use one of these uh, paper towels, the shop towels, and just kind of go over it quick. And then um, put that second coat on, let that dry. Like I said, if you keep it on a fan, um, you should be good to go within 15, 20 minutes recoat, sand it down again, dust it off. Um, it's recommended you have three coats. Um, I know that's the direction on the on the can itself and I definitely recommend three coats because like I said, that first coat's your base coat. The second coat's gonna give you that layer of protection and that third coat is gonna give you that, that ultimate layer of protection. You could add a fourth coat if you want, that's up to you, but don't really need it. And it, again, depends on what you're using it for if you wanna add that fourth coat. Um, so that's, that's one coat, and we're going to flip it over here. I'm not going to put it on its face, but this is two coats. So as you can see, it's got a nice sheen to it. I'm not sure if you can see any roller marks, because there is none. It's kind of hard to see it in the light. see it that way but I mean it looks like it was sprayed on literally and uh, this stuff's already drying and again if you put a fan on it's gonna dry pretty quick and you'll be good to go so uh, definitely try it out highly recommend this product uh, I've been using it on many different projects and just had great success um, and it's a water-based product so it's easy to clean up you know just rinse it off with water and that's it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So hope you enjoy and uh, thanks for watching. And like and subscribe if, uh, if you like this video. And any comments in the, the, section, in the uh, section below, go ahead and leave those and uh, I'll try to answer those the best I can. All right, thanks.